let's quickly look at what is going to happen when we have a measurement with an uncertainty uh, and we want to add or subtract or multiply or divide with a constant that does not have an uncertainty. So what am I talking about? Let's say we've got our, our measurement A plus minus standard uncertainty standard uncertainty and let's call this u and we are using an absolute uncertainty in this case well we can also do that with a relative uncertainty and we want to add to this uh, measurement with its un uncertainty we want to add something uh, b where we don't have any uncertainty that could be a natural uh, factor that uh, has been really determined to a lot of uh, decimal places so that the uncertainty can be really uh, ignored or it can be just simply a multiplication factor uh, when we convert milli to uh, micro or something like that we would use a factor of thousand and there's no uncertainty in it so how would we uh, go about with that so we have a plus minus the uncertainty the absolute uncertainty plus b and here the rule is it will give us a plus b that's the new measurement let's call that x and it does not change the uncertainty because we add something that is basically absolutely certain so we would get still our uh, standard absolute uncertainty so if we add something we only add it to our original measurement but we leave the uh, standard uncertainty untouched we don't do anything with it that's that's the rule and this applies both to plus or minus now the situation is different when it comes to multiplication or division so again let's assume we have a plus minus our standard absolute uncertainty and we multiply it by a constant c so the rule here would be that we calculate c times a plus minus c times u a we have to calculate we have to multiply it of course with the measurement here but we also have to multiply it with the standard uncertainty and that's important because as I just said if we do addition or subtraction we leave the uncertainty untouched but with multiplication or with division and that's exactly the same we need to take we need to deal with the standard absolute uncertainty and uh, do the same thing that we do to the measurement to the uh, uncertainty so that's really important that we understand uh, how these uh, two things are treated differently